3D printed. Hey guys, so we got some uh, 3D printed plates we're gonna shoot. Uh, this is kind of a harebrained idea I had as I was falling asleep, so I wrote it down and here we are. Uh, we have a PLA 3D printed. Anyhow. <laughs> got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Uh, we got some uh, PLA 3D printed plastic here, uh, just your standard run in the mill PLA. It's an inch thick. Wow. <clears throat> got, it's an inch thick, so uh, uh, everything else is scaled down XY, so we can kind of conserve on filament. If, it's, if it uh, works, we'll scale it up from there. Got some carbon fiber 3D printed uh, PLA as well. And this is my other concoction I came up with. It kind of worked. We have this one's a uh, half inch thick, but basically print a shell. A uh, hundred thou, hundred, hundred thou inch thick, and then uh, fill it with concrete. So we're gonna see how those hold up. Um, let me know what you guys think we should fill them with. If you have any other ideas, I'm curious. I'm gonna do some other materials down the road too. This is just uh, kind of the tip of the iceberg. So yeah, let's get started. All right. So first test, we got the half inch plate. It's the thinnest, uh, just the regular PLA, and we're gonna hit it with this uh, the 22. Uh, what was the FPS on these, do you know? 1280. 1280, so around about 1280. It's about a 16-inch barrel. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is from about uh, 12 yards or so. Let's see if I can hit it on the first try. Yeah? You got it. Oh, yeah! Oh, it went through. It's actually kind of surprising. Thought that might stop it. That ripped right through it. Yeah, so it seems like the, the round penetrated uh, so deep and then it sheared out a few of the layers of the printing. You can kind of see it's chipped that out. I don't see much dent. If you like uh, try to bend it like this way, does it feel like it's going to break? Is there a little delamination yeah, there's there? A, there's a fracture line you can see. It's interesting. Yeah, front side, you know, kind of minor damage on the front side. Because they were printed on the side orientation. It doesn't appear that there's any fracture on this on this other side. There's definitely a fracture on this side here. All right, so for this one, the next one, the three-quarter inch, we'll see if this stops it. Again, same gun, same distance. Wow. I didn't really expect this, to be honest. Oh. Looks about the same. Exactly. Yeah, another yep. fracture on the bottom. Fracture here. It actually extended on beyond here, probably because the material is thicker and maybe transferred more of that energy to, to the rest of the plate. But similar type of uh, observation where you can see at a certain point that the round got deep enough to where it chipped out the back few layers. It's kind of a cool pattern, like the uh, yep. how it's tearing the material basically. Okay, so now this is the one inch. I thought it would be stopped by now, actually. So. We'll see what happens, I guess. Here we go. Same gun, same distance. Tore that one up. Cracked it a lot worse. As you can kind of see, as the, the thickness of the plate increases, the, the propagated cracks here just become more exaggerated. Um, here, here, you don't even have to spread it apart to, to see the fracture line. Yeah, I can actually I can actually break that apart. And this is PLA, so it's very very brittle. So that's probably what it has to do a lot of it with yep. is that property of it. Yeah, I'm not sure if the cam camera captures this. You definitely the, the round did not get captured within the material. Um, it's hard to tell whether it actually penetrated through. To be honest, um, I don't think it did. It seems as though it got maybe halfway through and probably just fell out the front side. The backside, there is no hole out the backside, although it did fracture out a chunk of material. There's no hole that goes all the way through. So that's that's kind of interesting. All right, so we're gonna try to shoot kind of the top right corner of it, because it did look like, from what you saw, John, the uh, round did not maybe go all the way through, just kind of cracked it and maybe fell somewhere. So we're gonna shoot it again, see if we can get a different result maybe. Yeah, I think about done with that one. Maybe if I hit it dead center at the top, we could. Yeah, so with the glancing blow, we were able to penetrate all the way through. Wow. For the sake of body armor, definitely wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be appropriate because it can definitely uh, still 
still, still penetrate fragments, you know, onto mm -hmm. the backside. So, so there's always that. So next, uh, we're going to move on to the carbon fiber PLA. I don't expect too much of a different result, but it is a little more premium polymer as far as plastics concerned, and it's got the carbon fiber in it. So maybe that'll help some layer adhesion. Um, the half inch, I expect it to pretty much rip through, but we'll go from there. So let's get started. Same gun, same bullets. All right, here we go. What's the after action report here, John? So the more premium material um, <laughs> uh, seemed to to not hold up as well as the uh, the, the the cheaper ver the cheaper material here. It's kind of cool if you turn it the sideways, you almost have a cross sectional view of it. That's kind of cool. Though. Yeah, there you go. So, kind of as we predicted, looks like it broke at the layer line like completely. Yeah, that's kind of kind of expected, right? Yeah. That's kind of where your weaker, weaker portions of the That's builder. the orientation it was printed in. Yep. Printed up like that. Yep. Yep. Either way, I mean, it's going to break, so. Right. All right, on to three-quarter inch. So now we're going to go to the three-quarter inch. Probably going to rip through it, but we'll find out. So everything's the same. Here we go. That's one of the things of the bamboo printer that, yeah, it's fast, but it doesn't allow for great layer adhesion. So maybe that's kind of what's happening here. To some degree oh where'd the there's like a sliver missing i think yeah i you know you don't have the same crater effect in the back side but i think that's just because the part just split yeah i think the layered adhesion's not near as good i'd agree as the first one i would agree it almost seems like there's more porosity to this to these layers so where a hotter and slower print might be better i guess there isn't a section missing it just split it that bad uh, there's probably some small there's definitely some small chunks missing but the interesting thing is with this material you don't see like you know the diametric kind of crater like the other one had yeah right it's just like right along the the, the layer lines <laughs> okay for the last one of the 3d printed ones next is concrete uh we have the carbon fiber 3d printed pla uh one inch thick one that's what it was brain fart all right probably gonna go through it but let's see what happens yeah honestly this stuff is sucking worse. It, it looks very similar to the last thickness we had. Yeah. We just split it apart, it blew out a chunk, but basically just broke it right along the build lines. Yeah. The, the uh, white PLA did a lot better. That one seemed to have a better inner layer bonding yeah. than uh, this stuff. I printed it at the same speed, though. Um, so maybe the temperature was off a little bit. Carbon fiber. I don't know. Okay, so this one we will be doing, uh, this is half inch thick concrete so it's a 3d printed shell pla and then poured concrete in it this is just regular old concrete from the home improvement store so see what happens 22 same stuff we've been shooting with the plastic stuff so here we go oh yeah not wearing that one <laughs> no nope. nope, not, not for very long anyways <laughs> okay so this is the three-quarter concrete um everything's the same let's hit it want to get i know <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much if you have to depend out to defend against anything besides 22 yeah. long rifle not doing you're so screwed. Well. Yeah. yeah it's like a puzzle maybe 380 we didn't test that yet <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>